Hello YouTube, this is Beedrew1111, Gamertag Beedrew93, and uh, this video is going to be about the new game coming out in 2016 by Overkill, the same people who make uh, have made Payday, uh, The Heist and Payday 2. Um, they are making a Walking Dead game. It's going to be a first person shooter, and if it's anything like Payday, which is going to be wicked by the way, because I, I haven't, I've played a bit of Payday, I like the concept of it, my, my mates love it, I've watched them play it, but you only have to look at gameplay footage on the internet, and it's, it's very co-op based, you, you know, uh, with Payday in particular, you, you and I believe, it, I believe it's four of you in total, you work together to take over banks either silently or loudly if you want to do it stealthily, however, but it's like, it's co-op missions, like, where you have a task to do and you've got to meet that task, do that task in the best time and do it in every way, shape or fashion, cooperatively and very realistically. It's safe to say it's possibly one of the more realistic titles, Payday. Like if, no, I'm not saying go out and actually rob a bank, but it's definitely the closest thing you'll probably come to it. So it's kind of nice to see that a company like that are taking Walking Dead under their wing. Because it says in this article that they are pay, they are doing everything themselves there and... Um, they are building it from the ground up. They want it to be their game. And um, and I just hope that they do what they do with Payday. I hope it is like four-player co-op. Frankly, honestly, this is what I would like to see. I don't want to see four-player co-op or five-player co-op. I'd like to see eight to ten maximum player co-op. Because when you watch The Walking Dead TV show... You've got loads of people at a time, like like going out on scavenger missions and going out on supply runs. Um, sometimes you only have like one or two at a time, but it'd be nice to have that option, like just one or two of your friends going on a like doing a mission on Walking Dead um, by Overkill. Because I imagine I don't I if just a prediction here, if it's anything like Payday, I don't think it's going to be a story based game. We know it's a first person shooter, and it's set in the same. Uh, and it's set in the same universe as the Telltale games and the comic books, whereas the other first-person shooter that they brought out a few years back called Survival Instinct, that was AMC's game. So that was in, set in the universe of the TV show, which is different, with like Daryl Dixon and characters that weren't even in the comic book. So this is going to be core... You, like core Walking Dead fan first person shooter universe and it's going to be pretty cool because the Telltale games are amazing for story so story is taken away I just want to see a game which puts you in the shoes of an actual survivor trying to work together to stay alive in the apocalypse because survival instinct unfortunately didn't didn't do that for me it was a good game I'll be honest I, I enjoyed it I played through it once completed it and it was okay, but there wasn't any stealth element. It was, if you got saw by one zombie, you got seen by them all. It wasn't the most realistic. It was nothing like the TV show anyway. And that's what I'd like to see. Um, but here's a quote. We're working with Robert Kirkman himself. Um, we are said and asked about the version of The Walking Dead by Overkill. It, it's basis around, um, it's bases, it, it's basing its series around and seeing if, seeing the writers of the comics. It's only natural that we'll focus on that. Personally, I love the focus on horror in the comic books. Me too. There's not enough of it in the TV show, personally. But yeah, I love the focus of the horror in the comic books. We'll focus on all the characters and new storylines, and we'll have the same universe. Now, that's a direct quote from the people at Overkill regarding the game. So they're working with Robert Kirkman, so they got the man himself, and they're going to stick to the original universe um, I imagine we'll probably see some characters and yeah it'll be interesting I'm really looking forward to this um, it's the same crew that did Payday the heist and Payday 2 um, and it's gonna have it will oh here we are we we're gonna act with we, it's a great new IP for us we'll be giving it to the community you included to help give us feedback to make it the coolest cooperative experience ever so we know that it's gonna be co-op we know it's going to be like payday. We know it's going to be like, you know, you and however many of your mates can work together to complete missions. And I hope with it being a new gen title, I hope the missions are big. I hope they're big missions. I hope... What am I saying here? I, I hope it's not like Left for Dead where like one mission will take you maybe 20 minutes. I hope that each mission takes a while. I want to I wanna literally believe that I am in 
the TV show or in the comic book world for just like, oh, just me and a fit like say me, Crispy Chris, Microbox of X and Anchorman V want to team up and we're doing a supply run. We need to find some antibiotics um, for some people at back in our camp. And the mission is so thick, full of zombies, with the cloud, Xbox One cloud, and um, and stuff like that. Like loads of AI. I want the zombies to be realistic. I want them. I want to be able to be stealthy if I wish to. Do you know? Be quiet. Go around. Be be unseen. Or go in heavy guns, blazing grenades, knives, and go ballistic. I want to be able to play the way I want to play. Like Payday, go in stealthily, take hostages, do what you need to do that way, or if you want to go in loud and heavy, you can. That's what I want to see. I want to see it to be as realistic as we have come to know with The Walking Dead. I want the zombies to be the same. I want to feel, I want this to be a good game because I love the Telltale series and that's amazing for story but now I want to see a game that puts you in the shoes of a survivor in the zombie apocalypse in the comic books. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I'll put the trailer in the description, the reveal trailer by Overkill. Uh, it doesn't give away much, it's just sort of, it's just something they've put together to obviously announce it but it's not coming out till 2016 um, it's set in Washington at least that's what the trailer says um, so it's the same universe but it'll be in Washington and um, set in Washington so uh, so yeah that's all I got for you that's the only details that they have so far like, I, I've given more my opinion than the details it was a pretty short article it was on Eurogamer um, I'll put that in the description also but um, but yeah, we're to expect some cool things. It's generally going to be a co-op based game. I don't think there's going to be much story to it. It's literally just going to be um, like Payday, basically. Like not like ten missions. You've got to play them through them all. It'll be like Left for Dead, but Walking Dead version. Like you know, you 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 choose like a, a mission to play, uh, which um, you you set a task and an objective, and you want to work together. And I just hope that there's more than just four co-op people. I hope you can go up to like ten, because that'd be better, especially with The Walking Dead. You know, your survivors. But uh, but yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, just a few things I'd like to see as well. Maybe some customization. Maybe you can customize your own character, your own survivor. Um, maybe certain achievements you can unlock some survivors from both the AMC TV show and the comic books so maybe you can even unlock Lee from the Telltale games like it'd be quite cool I think they could do so much with this game to make it um, a consumer friendly uh, an amazing experience for any Walking Dead fan um, to unlock guns to unlock we but that's the thing I want it to be realistic I want you to be able to like find weapons maybe make weapons maybe I don't know. There's so much they could do with this game. They haven't given away a lot. They're probably not going to give away much more anytime soon. Maybe we'll hear something at E3. I don't know. But it's coming out 2016. I've given you some of my opinions. I've read out what I could find on the internet. And that's all I got for you. So thank you very much for listening, guys. That's uh, my take on the whole thing. That is uh, the Overkill's The Walking Dead. Cheers, guys. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.